is this guy. That's not Jam, what happened to him? Jam lost loads of weight and grew hair? Impossible, impossible. He's only vlogging outside the car because the music inside is copyright. No, no, <laughs> if we talk loud enough, they don't pick up on it. <laughs> 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 What is that face? That was just like, that's the face of you? pancakes from breakfast. Yeah, you've caught me at a moment of like, I'm letting the sugar rush off of me. Really have little carbs leave. You know. He's always in that corner, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he knows his he's place. He's always in the corner. Yeah, he's like a dormouse. Yeah. Finds a nice little tight corner. It's and fierce, like... Nice can of monster to climb into. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> nice, nice pack of Uncle Ben's <laughs> rice. You, you think what? You'll do that again for the vlog, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were saying? <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's making you not look tanned again. I've talked about this last time. I don't know what it is with the colour thing. It just makes everyone look good. Maybe we just look good anyway. No, you don't. Pibs, on the other hand, looks lighter than usual. Reverse. How on earth is this car gonna move? Hem and add pibs in there. There are certain things that a 97 Fiat Punto just won't <laughs> mess down. Two very Look at the wheel arch on the large back. Large Look at the ladies. <laughs> is that car gonna <laughs> fucking barrel in a pram? Jesus Christ. It's really rusty, so it's been there for a while as well. You can tell we're in Northampton now, we are boys. In Deep ghetto country. Deep northerns. Oh. Just about to run over a, a cyclist. Yeah, no biggie. Had it coming. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Ain't fucking save me nothing. So here we are at locals for the uh, kind of pre warm up, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We're just waiting to get started for round one. So we are just fanning about and killing some time, uh, waiting to get absolutely handled by just about everything I play against. So, uh, round one down, we play against Broads, which is becoming like a regular staple appearance here. Uh, he's playing Infernoble Knights. If you guys haven't seen it, you should check out the profile that I did with him. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool deck. He's made a few changes, but it's uh, it's more or less the same sort of thing. Go absolutely crazy if your opponent can't stop it and just lose. Uh, so, game one, uh, it was uh, he sort of basically was having to pass turn like three turns in a row. Couldn't have my board, so he scooped uh, quite sensibly. Game two, he went off. Uh, I drew for turn and was like, trying to uh, bait the Omni Negate he had on board with the field spell, but he'd already seen my hand. Uh, I had Line in Storm in hand, which he didn't see, but he didn't fall for the bait of the field spell because it wasn't going to get me anywhere. He's a good player, so he's not likely to fall for that kind of stuff. So uh, we, we, uh, we lost that game. And then game three, uh, I go first, I make the board, and then I don't really see much else. Uh, and he basically waits three turns, is able to see everything he needs to see, and then I couldn't do anything, so he just plays through the board and, and makes his comeback. So we, we, we take a loss round one. And we'll see how we get on after the next one. Two Snorlaxes. Oh, want to get between them bad boys. Oh, get your flute out, Jimmy. Where's he gone? Yeah. I'm not the one on the roof. Not the roof. Do it. So another round down, another round playing a terrible deck. Um, again, just loses to itself. So yeah, pretty much summarizes my feelings at the moment. I can't wait for the new format to play something good. Really, to be honest. So yeah, just doing turbo. <laughs> but to be honest, um, yeah. So the sooner we get to not play this fucking deck anymore, the better. So final match of the 
locals number one, I guess, because we do double locals, as you very well know. Uh, we get the win over Salaman Grey. Um, pretty quick game, so that was quite nice. I had to get that done and dusted. Uh, so we're just in that kind of brief period of time in between locals, so we're going to be killing some time, I guess, recording some stuff and yeah, having some fun. So get ready for some B-roll, uh, or skip ahead if you want to get to locals too. <laughs> Broken local pack opening. Uh, if it's they're messing me with these half upside down cards. What is that? Printed upside down confirmed. He put in this ultra. Quality controls on point, Konami. Look at this. Baggy packs. If I turn up with sleeves like this, you'd kick me out. Can't even open the damn thing. I don't think that's an ulti. No imprint. It is not. Amazing locals haul. I can't even read this. It's just rubbish. What were you saying, Hemant? Huh? Right, so, okay, so I said, said that what you do is very true in the game. This kid, round one. How are you feeling, sweetie? Wants to smash it. Oh, give you that leg twitch again. <laughs> <laughs> Minor. It's round one of locals number two. We play against Sky Striker. Um, lose two one. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's against one of the boys. It doesn't really matter. The packs all go back into the pool. Uh, a few misplays uh, here and there, but nothing too crazy that cost sort of cost me the game. It just wasn't very good. Uh, so not the end of the world, but also not fantastic either. Uh, so we wait in for the next round, I guess. Oh, oh look at this kid. You have to pay for my life, this. No, I don't. I'm I'm free marketing for you. Oh, I can't even hold a camera properly. What's wrong with me? Record the die roll. Record the die roll. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's garbage. That's a six. <laughs> yeah, we beat six. Just a little. So we are round two down. Uh, we played Jamie, as you very well will have seen, uh, just before this bit comes up. Uh, he was playing Ligma fucking uh, Shadol invokes that thing that everyone's playing at the moment. Um, again, ceiling's just too high against the deck. So again, Sub Terra, when it does this thing, was really good. We spent the whole of game two going. <laughs> And then of course one, but when you can't go, <laughs> then you just lose. So uh, that's basically what happened. So uh, lost game one, won game two, lost game three because it, the deck had just peaked, got where as far as it could, um, and just didn't have the ability to continue to play. So as with all of these things, you take a loss because of the, the deck, unfortunately. Again, you know, not trying to make it like I've not made any major misplays or anything. There's a couple of misplays, again, that I highlighted in there that I realised what I've done. We won't make them again. Um, but of course, lose by virtue of the deck being absolutely fucking garbage. So today's biggest lesson, kids, is don't play bad decks uh, at Guru. It's fucking terrible. Uh, I knew there was a reason I hated it and I continue to hate it. I'm playing it. Uh, fuck Guru, don't play it. I can't encourage you to play it. I go back to my previous statements, which is I fucking hate it. Uh, I 
still fucking hate it. In fact, I fucking hate it even more now that I've played it for two weeks in a row. It's awful. Uh, I hate the deck. You should die. Nobody should ever play it. If you play it, please play something else for the good of your sanity. It's just, it's like when it goes off, it's really nice. Uh, when it's interactive, the rest of the time it's boring because your opponent can't play it, or it's boring because you can't play because your deck's so bad. Uh, so probably get what I deserve for even playing it in the first place. I fully hold my hands up to that one. Uh, but fuck Guru is the, is the overall feeling of this. Maybe I'm probably being slightly um, off kill a little bit. I don't know if that's the right word, but whatever. Uh, we do we do play at locals. So the podcast is loud. It's very windy out here. Um, we could play a locals where everyone is generally playing decent decks, so I should have played better than to play like a rogue strategy that I thought would be fun. Uh, it's, it, it, well, not fun, that's probably the wrong word, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, we need to play something else, so we need to look towards the next format. Likely not much is going to change, so I can probably decide now what I want to play and we can get that all going. Uh, thinking probably something maybe Eldritch or maybe even Ligma, depending. Probably prefer Ligma, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, lesson of the day, don't play Google. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.